Sixth World is gonna be the next Hokage. I know you with my My name is Six World. I'm gonna be the next Hokage. Believe it. Welcome back to the channel. The Tamari DLC update is finally here, and trust when I say it is fire. Okay, we're gonna get right into it. So listen, if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Unless you're one of those, say goodbye. So let's make it out the village, hidden in the hood, my guy. Simple. Let's get right into it. Hey. So I just want to say that Bandai Namco and Saloy are actually outdoing themselves with this. Okay, this is the second DLC update, back to back on some Drizzy Drake. Alright, I say, uh, can you shut the fuck up? And it's actually really good. As soon as you open up your game, you are greeted with a brand new loading screen. They actually look really, really good. And it's actually crazy how something as small as a loading screen can really get you excited for this game. That just goes to show you that the potential with Shinobi Striker is really insane. You got your Tamari loading screen, you got your Madara loading screen, you got your Season 1 pass loading screen, and also your Season 4 pass loading screen. And of course, all the other Season passes also have their own loading screen, so I don't really mind being on Xbox anymore because that 5 minute loading screen is going to hit different when I got all these other Season passes on the loading screen now. So it's pretty cool, I like it, I like it, I like it. And also also, there most likely will be more loading screens for future DLCs as well. So let's see what the future holds because I would love to have a Byron Mill loading screen. Not gonna lie to y'all, that'd be fire. We also have the top secret training four now available for purchase as well. This pack will give you five stars for each character from the season four pass. Not five gold stars, but five silver stars. So pretty much you will get five levels for each season four pass character. Meaning you are guaranteed to get two ninjutsu plus an ultimate. So if you guys want to get that, you can do so right now. But in my personal opinion i don't think that's really worth it but hey if you want to do it go crazy i'm not gonna judge you and i definitely won't stop you so hey it is what it is my guy bandai namco and saloy also add brand new hair colors to the game as well as a brand new skin color as well and trust when i say they look really good so we now have another full palette of hair colors and they look really good they look really saturated really vibrant they really do stick out you can notice it just by looking right here that these colors are actually really really good i like what they did even the new skin color looks more of an atutsuki color compared to the last one they added with the modern update so i like what they're doing they're actually trying to add more colors to the game now listen i can't lie to y'all demigod shinobi watching the video right now i can't lie to y'all shinobi striker will be four years old this month my god they're gonna be four years old and we still don't have any red colors for our eye i just think that's really weird that we don't have the option to make our eye color red it's really weird like can you just add it already like if you're not gonna add the sharingan pupils can you at least add more colors to the eyes dojutsu is one of the biggest things about naruto like you wouldn't have sasuke or itachi without it like i don't know why they're doing this i think they're really saving this red eye color for the red sharingan pupils i don't know why it's just really really weird i don't know why they just won't add it i don't know man but we'll see what happens in the future but them adding an entire new palette for hair colors is amazing nonetheless it's a really really good part of the update i really do enjoy them adding new things and i hope that they continue doing this as well because i do want red pupils i really do i'm not weird i just you know i want a sharing gun my guy we also got an early black friday discount in the tin tin shop going on right now yes you heard me right some of the shinobi boosts now cost a little bit less nothing too crazy but if you are interested in it i got you covered my guy we have all geared up boosting your ninja tool damage now this count it as a top we also have untouchable boosting attack evasion which is for your bottom and we also have the long raging wolf face us which will be an accessory buff that will increase your maximum health in 1v1s not including the pit so if you are in a quick match or wherever you're at barrier battle flag battle whatever it is if you are in a 1v1 with some random you will get a maximum health boost pretty cool but like I said, if you guys are interested, go crazy. If not, don't even worry about it. Next, we also have some rebalancing of some ninjutsu, some ninja tools, some weapons, all that good stuff. We're going to go over that right now, so let's get right into it. So first up, we got the range players, and I'm not going to lie to y'all, this is actually insane. They just buffed this jutsu, and now they're patching it. I don't know how to feel about this one. We got the fire style flame bombs damage being decreased. Now, they just 
buffed this jutsu about a couple months ago i think when the kawaki dlc came out they buffed this jutsu and now they're patching it again so they did add a second input for it when the kawaki dlc dropped but now they actually decreased the damage and also it's not glitched anymore where you can like spam it kind of a little bit when you jump in the air they took that away as well not only did they take that away but they also took away the tracking for the jutsu so now the fireball doesn't even really track anymore so they really just kind of made it better and then ruined it again i don't know what the point in that was but yeah that happened i mean it's literally a free jutsu that you get when you pick range for the first time anyway but it's still kind of crazy how they made it better than kind of ruined it again i don't know what they're planning on doing with that but hey man it is what it is let's move on for all my artists out there we do have an increase in speed with the super beast imitation drawing that is the ultimate size ultimate by the way so if you guys do like Psy, I don't know who out there does, but if you do, go crazy. Now is your chance to go crazy because his ultimate was just buffed recently. The speed has increased, so it is kind of more reliable and the damage is decent as well. So if you guys like Psy and you like drawing, well, make Psy your VR master and go crazy because now you can use his ultimate in a way more better efficient way. So hey man, let's go. And trust when I say you actually do notice the speed increase with this jutsu. I'm, they're not just saying it just to say it like you actually do notice it so if you guys do like this ultimate but didn't like how slow it was like the output for it it is better now trust what i say so if you guys actually do like this jutsu please use it you know what i'm saying like let's hey switch it up you know what i'm saying switch it up next we also have the defense class kind of getting patched a little bit not too crazy but just a little bit just a little bit so suzano armor actually got decreased in the jutsu cooldown time which is good but they also got decreased in the jutsu effect time so pretty much you can use suzano's armor more during a match but it won't last as long you feel what i'm saying so they kind of did patch it a little bit but it's still really good though I, I was using it earlier didn't have any problem with it you didn't really notice the change because they decreased the cooldown time so even though it doesn't last as long you still can use it more during a match if that makes sense so it's not that bad but again it is kind of a patch but it was overpowered let's be honest that that was broken it, it was broken but it's a dlc move so you know you pay for what you get you know what i'm saying so can't really complain too much about that but yeah that's really weird though you guys let me know in the comment section below how you guys feel about it are you guys still liking suzano armor or do you guys think they ruined it let me know how y'all feel about that one. we also got the earth style earth dragon bullet getting a buff and it's really really good trust when i say they adjusted the tracking on the bullets they did widen the range as well making the hitbox a little bit larger and it's really good like you can actually notice it when you use this jutsu you're gonna notice it right away like whoa i'm getting hit by some weird shit you know what i'm saying so it's actually a really really good buff i really do like it i never use this jutsu but as of recent i actually been using it and i do like it trust when i say i actually really really do like it now when you are hit by one of these dragon bullets your movement speed is decreased by a lot but they did patch that so now it doesn't last as long anymore you kind of like last like about a i don't know good three seconds and then you're good again so they did patch that but, you know, they did make it wider, so I understand why they did that. But honestly, I think that the Jutsu took more of a dub than the L nonetheless. So, hey, it is what it is, my God. But I think it really did good with this one. I think they really did do good with this. Now that we're done with the defense class, let's talk about the healer class. So, first up, we got the Cherry Blossom Crash. This is Sakura's Punch to the Ground or whatever you want to call it. We also got the Sarada one as well. But pretty much what they did was they increased the Ninjutsu jump distance. They also widened the range of damage and also they adjusted it so it can be used mid-air so it's really really good and i do like this because i was actually using the tsunade kick for a cool healer build that i use so now i can use this one as well and trust when i say it actually is really good you really do notice it like when you're in mid-air you can just use it my god it actually does land it's really cool the damage is way better now it's just really really good to have on a versatile build my god trust when i say so if you guys want to try it out definitely do so like i said earlier as well we got the crimson drizzle which is gonna be the sarada version of cherry blossom crash same thing going on here though with the increase of damage and using it mid-air but also crimson drizzle is a little bit different because now they decrease the distance of the enemy being blown back so when you use it regularly it actually does knock the enemy back but now you can kind of literally combo it now so it's actually really useful because now they don't get blown back and mess up the combo now you can kind of link it with your combo to do more damage especially with the backhand explosion ninja tool for the healers because now you got that hand-to-hand -hand combat for your healer type builds and now having this 
along with that, it's really useful and it's really cool to have something to like link your combos with and be more of a hand-to-hand -hand combat healer. So that's really cool that they did that. I do like it. No complaints here. Like I said earlier, really, really good. You really do notice it when you're playing the game. It's not something that you're just writing in code. Like you actually do notice the changes that they're doing in the game right now. And I really do like it. And for all my attack players out there, yeah, you guys got nothing. There's no buffs. There's no patch. You guys are just there. You know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But that's okay because there was a substitution buff as well and attack class can use it. So that's really good. So we got high movement speed getting a buff recently. So now it jumps higher after using it. And also the movement speed is also increased. So it's really, really good when you're playing a flag battle because it's insane how fast you are when you have a flag and you use this jutsu or my bad, a substitution. It's actually insane how fast you are. It's actually insane the distance you get on people, especially if you're a healer. Not even flag battle, let's just talk about combat battle my guy if you're a healer man you already know how annoying it is to get jumped by other players it's the most annoying thing in the world but having this substitution i promise you when i say this they will not catch you okay you'll be so fast you'll be jumping off the walls you'll be so quick with it my god trust when i say it's actually so cool to see how fast you are with this substitution now now the only thing about it is that they did add an extra five seconds to the cooldown time which is whatever that's nothing but you're just so much faster trust when i say it's actually amazing i love playing healer with this substitution if you're not using this on your healer my guy i don't know what you're doing wrong okay actually i know what you're doing wrong you're not using it right okay put this on your healer trust when i say it's amazing it's the best thing ever trust me try it it's so fire i love it i love it i love it but yes that did get buffed recently and it's really good try it out and then finally for all the medicine pills they now have a shorter cooldown time so you can kind of use them more during a match you do notice it but again not too crazy but it is noticeable but yeah so if you are like a medicine pill fiend and you want to use them more during matches now you can do so they do last as long as they did before they just shorten the cooldown time me personally i don't really use them that much unless it's like a flag battle or something but hey if you guys notice anything crazy definitely comment below but me personally i didn't really notice anything crazy i just noticed that i could use it a little bit more during matches and that's pretty much it anyways my guy that is it for the free update section of the tamari dlc update if you guys have any questions definitely comment below but like i said i really do love the free update parts of these dlcs because so far every time they add a dlc character for this season they're adding so much more to the game that's just a lot of free crazy lit stuff some stuff that are just so good to the game so i like the new hair colors the skin color the patches everything is just so good i feel like they're going in the right direction so i am very thankful for bandai and saloy for doing this my god i really do like it this is the free version of the dlc update if you guys want me to cover the paid dlc version i got you don't worry but this is it for the free version of the dlc update anyways if you guys haven't already make sure you guys like comment and subscribe i'd really appreciate it i've been sick so i'm very sorry for the lack of updates and lack of videos but i've been sick i had you know what i lost a lot of weight and it's crazy okay so i'm sorry but i'm back and hopefully i stay healthy this time all right anyways that being said you guys take care enjoy the rest of your day and i'll catch you guys on the next one that being said though man team six i am out all my six soldiers salute gang shit my guy Ay. these days feel like high school again i know you